A cell phone is a wonderful thing if you use it right. We uh, <laughs> came to a town, if you saw my She Called the Cops video, we came to that town again. And uh, hopefully we don't get the cops called. Shouldn't on this one, but man, we pulled up and this house is for sale. It's an older house. It was for sale, but there was a number for sale as is on a sign in the yard. And I called the number, and she said it would be fine if we wanted to check it out. But check out this house. We're hoping it's never been hunted. It's in an area that's off the beaten path. It would have been an old farmhouse at one time. And anyway, me and old Mike, it's cold as can be today, and the wind is blowing. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but we're getting ready to hit it, so wish us luck. All right, so I forgot my dig bag and my lech digger. Mike loaned me a ledge. I've gone one swipe. I dug two pieces of aluminum foil and I got a good dime signal and I just exposed it and it's silver. Silver. And I don't know what it is. It's a mercury. mercury. Yeah. Cool bean. Mercury dime. Right out of the shoot here. 1923. Is that what it says? Yeah, I can't read it. So, Jeff's on the board with silver. Awesome. Dig. Love the Mercs. 22, awesome. possibly. 42, I don't know. Yeah, okay. You guys know I can't tell, but anyway, silver on the board, buddy. All right. That's a wonderful start to the day. I can't see any better than you can, but it does say 19 and 42. 1942, so. And what's cool is I've got another target right over here that I waved. Um, as I got this one, so see if we can't get another one. Maybe Excited we'll about this yard. All right, yeah. All right, so uh, I found that Merc and moved around. Mikey just popped a wheat scent on a live dig, and uh, I just dropped this buckle here. Um, can't really tell. It doesn't look super old to me, but I'm going to dig almost every solid target out here, just because there's uh, not a ton. Being an old farmhouse, there's no telling what you might be able to find in here. So, this house is in town now, but just barely, and uh, quite a ways from the square. So, it's uh, it's probably got some age to it, and it was an old farmhouse at one time. So, see what else we can get. All right, guys. Hopefully, you can hear me. The wind is picking up, but starting my second pass, and I uh, hit this gold-plated ring. Uh, I'm sure it's stamped. I found. Man, it seems like I found three or four of these in the last one. Uh, but a wedding band, and back in the day, these old farmers didn't get to town a whole lot. And I call them gypsies, but I'm not sure they are gypsies. But um, some people would gold plate some rings and stamp them 18K. I don't know if this one's stamped. I hadn't looked hard enough at it yet. But sell them as 18 carat, and then, of course, they fade away. So, anyway, it's a cool find. I always love finding the rings and uh, see what else we can get out of here. All right, guys, I'm going to live dig this one. I've got a similar signal here as to uh, what I had with that Merc, and I'm probably five steps away. Not that that means anything, but I thought we would expose it together. Let's just see what I can get. The plug's kind of falling apart a little bit. Could be a penny. I just don't know. Let me scan it real quick. I got it out. Now it's hitting 12.46. Oh, I see the coin right there. And it looks like it's a quarter. A clad quarter. Well, I sure rang up different. It looks like it was on edge. Right there, from where the plug would have come out, it would have been like that. So, anyway, good find. Coffee for me. We'll keep going. Would you look at the size of that spoon? That thing is half the size of my truck. Look at that. Actually, no. No, it's as big as my truck. Look at that. Unbelievable. What kind of mouth would... It's not really a soup spoon, but... My goodness, look at the size of that. I think it'd be wider if it was a serving spoon. Anyway, cool find. 
We'll see what else we can get. Alright, guys and gals, I turned sideways to try to block the wind, but uh, cool find. It came up 1139 on the CTX, but it's a 1906 Indian. It was about four inches down is all, not terribly deep. Good signal. Uh, 1139 though, so I know I hit 1137 back in the, one of those old houses I was hunting. 1137 uh, signal gave me an Indian, so I was talking to my old buddy Jim, and he says he gets a lot of them in that range, so I thought I'd just start digging them all, and I'm glad I did. So We'll see what we can get. Mike's working over by the house and uh, see if he can get on something over there, but so far he's hit a weedy. But that's about it. So we'll see what else. This is my first penny, believe it or not, in this yard. And I'm almost done with the front yard. So I like that. <laughs> we'll keep going. You guys know I love my nickel signals or my signals. Uh, I just dug two. I dug a 68 and a 64. And I have another nickel signal. I'm working down the side of the house here. You can see. And this one looks a little bit older. I thought we'd do a live expose. I just found it right here and uh, probably just another Jeffy but thought we would live expose it. It is. It's going to be another Jefferson and let's see what data it's going to have on it. Another 64? Is that right? Am I seeing that right? Uh, looks like it. No. Probably a 79. Anyway, some oldies. I love finding nickels. We'll keep going. Alrighty, guys and gals. We have hunted two hours. And I just now found my first wheat scent. Believe it or not. It's a 52, I believe. But first weedy. I think Mike's found a couple. So I just dug a memorial about five inches. And this one was six. So getting a little bit deeper as we get towards the backyard. But anyway, we'll see if we can pull any more beauties out of here. Okay, Mike found a rosy on the other side of the house. I uh, hadn't seen it yet, but I'll show it to you here in a minute. I just busted another weedy right here. I think it's in the 50s. Uh, so getting into some coins over here on the side of the yard, we kind of wondered if the front yard hadn't been hit uh, just for the lack of targets because there's way more targets over here on the side, and we've also got the backyard uh, to hunt. Let's see if I can show you. Close line right there, and there's the old barn. And... Uh, so, we'll see if we can get anything else pulled out of here. We'll keep going. I'm actually sitting on my last plug uh, and just busted another one. Another wheat scent. So, bad news is these things are ringing up like a silver dime. But I guess that's the good news, too. They're ringing up like a silver dime, so I'm going to dig them. Odd. But we'll just keep going. Alright, guys. We finally made it around to the backyard. I'm just off the back steps here. Dug a plaid quarter right there few more steps and uh, dug this little baby spoon. But, uh, cool, little, cool little old spoon. So we'll keep going, see what else we get. Okay, guys, I'm in the backyard at the very back by an old dog house. And I finally figured out just through the clues that I have found in this yard, I can go back into the late 1800s, early 1900s, and tell you that this was the Bass family, B-A-S-S -S family, that lived here. And the reason I know that is because they had such large mouths. Yes, that's my bad joke of the day, but that is a cool spoon. Big old dog. He's got some writing on the back. We'll look it up. A little bit later and let you know if it's anything special. We'll keep going. Alright guys, we, uh, Mike and I talk about our bucket list a lot, whether it's coins, relics, or whatever. Last episode you saw him bust my number one coin, the Barber Quarter. That's number one, followed by the large cent, U.S. large cent. Well, he's gone off and now busted one of my top relics. And uh, let's go take a look at it real quick. I'm tickled for him. It is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful one, isn't it? Check out that skeleton key. Wow, good sir. shape. Not bent or nothing. Now we can break into the house. There we go. That's <laughs> sweet, man. Dude, that is beautiful. Isn't that a nice one? Wow. 
Either they're corroded or bad. How's that make you feel? That's all. We're me. sticking around, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, See what else we can get. Yeah. Never know what you're gonna dig. Mike called. All righty. Mike called me over, and uh, he just popped this one, Roosevelt, which is silver, and it's a 48, you say? Yeah. And then the other one you dug was a 61. Yeah. All right, man. Silver. All right, three. Buddy. That's a three silver. Three silver yard so far. It's a big old yard. Yeah. It's about a 40 wheat penny yard, yeah. and a you cool skeleton key. And you found that before? You found that one before. I found it over there. I know, but you found one of those before. Yes. Yeah, it's a little different deal, but it's, I like those like that. It's got that writing on it. Some kind of skin. The skin makes powder clean. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, stuff like that's really cool. Yeah. All righty, man. Well, we're going to do a little bit more cleanup and see what else we can get. All right, guys. I'm going to call this the walk of shame for Mike. He's going to be kicking himself. I'm over on his side right now, and I have exposed some silver, and it's like at least quarter size. Sorry for the wind noise. I have not looked at it, hadn't even popped it out of the plug yet. But you can see that beauty right there. Oh, it's half dollar size. Oh, check it out. It's a half dollar, guys. It's a half dollar. Really? Yeah. Dang, I missed that one. You missed it, buddy. Sheesh. That's three. What is that one? This is a barber half. Wow. Awesome. Oh, two. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Oh, my goodness. So I just skipped my barber quarter, which was number that? one on my list, and popped a barber stinking half dollar. Wow. Wowzer. My goodness, guys. Is so sweet, and that's in. Nah, it's flattened. I started to say it's in decent shape, but it's it's pretty worn. Man, that's awesome. Mike, as you were coming, I said, "Here comes the walk of shame." Yeah. <laughs> I can't oh, oh my goodness, I'm tickled to death with that, guys. Yeah, we'll see if we can pilfer a few more things. Awesome. All right, guys, Mike walked off. Uh, had to call him back. Here's the plug, and right here on this side is where I got the barber half. Um, which was kind of strange. Right next to it, I had another signal, and I dug it, and it's a buffalo. It's a 1917 buffalo, and uh, so that's probably why he missed it. It was probably giving a squirrely signal, the two of them together. I just hit it from the right side and uh, got something that I wanted to dig. But it's a 1917, again, with a 1902 barber hat. So we're going to scan it a little bit more. Oh, Mikey's out of breath because he came running to me. He's doing cleanup on me, and he cashed in big. Check this out, folks. Not as big as you, but I'll take that. Not as big, but this is some faux real. I believe we it believe. Be real. Let's clean her up real quick. Because it did not. Oh, yeah. Let me. Doesn't look. Uh, Here, hold this and let me get my fake. No, it does not. It is for real. Yeah, I think it is, too. It's not a ton of weight, but, man, anytime you can find a gold ring, Mike. Yeah. Writing in there. Um, well, I'm not seeing it, but that doesn't mean it's not there. I guarantee you, this thing is gold. There's no way it's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not flaky or nothing. No, there's not no tarnished. way that's plated. When they shine like that out of the ground, they're gold. You can tell. Oh yeah. Oh, here it is. It's a. Uh, It's got a maker's mark in there. Yeah. Sweet, man. We're killing it now. Yeah, it's a... Uh, I can't read it. But it definitely has numbers and it's got a maker's mark in it. Let me see if I can read it. It is St. Mize or maybe... Very it's nice, Mikey. Just, uh, we're close to the same terrible ice, but... Definitely something we'll have to put a deal yeah, on. There's it, a C. It looks like a C in a circle. Yeah, it's for sure real though. <coughs> no. Well, good job, Mike. 
gold, silver, and more wheat pennies than we can shake a stick at. Yep, a lot of wheat. Boy, that's sweet, though. Happy to have that. Nice one. All right, All let's right. keep going.